game number one with Valentina, Kaja, and Natalia. Not just shutting a boy down, but also shutting Beloy down. Main point being Beloy. But with the 2-0 mid of GeekFam already neutralized so early on in the draft, it does give Renz and his Shadow Analyst a really rough time to tackle this draft. Oh man. Has to be the Claude Ben. Yeah. Uh, a eight. punch for a punch. No. no. Oh, okay. Okay, they want to trade it then. So do they want to go for the Uranus? Not gonna lie, man. The more I play Uranus at the high at a high rank, I'm not the highest rank there, but like it got shred really, really easily by carry. I think that's the highest counter. It's not Dyroth, it's carry. I swear to god. The corrosive side is just so annoying. If you combine it if with uh, other slows, for example, Export or Yeev, it just spells too much trouble for you. That is a very good counter. We've seen it many times before as well. The carry yeah, just melts through Uranus butt. like it's butter. Ooh. Mm. But here, as expected, it's going to be the Claude first pick. It's Brands' comfort pick. We've seen it a whole lot of times in Season 11 even. And now that the Claude is top prio, I don't think Evo's Legends will shy away from picking up that comfort pick and Arlet. prio pick Sir, for Evo's. Arlet could definitely be a pick, but they go for the Fanny instead here. Already locking a jungler so early on. And I don't know. No Kaja up for grabs here. It seems like they're going for the Faramis. Yeah, and it should just be, there you go, locked in. Faramis. Okay, okay, so no Harlot here <laughs> just yet. I really to thought that Fam trick the will lock the, the, the Harlot out, but with Fanny and Faramis, the two Fs here, what are they looking for here? Because two heroes that isn't really good at synergy, where yeah. Faramis wants you to clump up, but Fanny wants to be independent, wants to go in out easily, so... I wonder how it will unravel. Evos, though, with this clock, a lot of options of approaches. What do you want to go for here? Kufrak is also a possibility, seeing the Fanny is already picked. <laughs> Stubby Croc and Katira, it looks like. Okay. Croc is very, very popular, especially. I feel like Super Vin, every time there is a Faramis, it's an Odo Croc, right? So I can maybe, you know, try to get some info coming in from BTR. One of the best teams in the in the MPL ID right now. So I like this approach, but ooh, oh man, like uh, see, like if this is the previous season, I would like this pick, but glue right now it just doesn't shine as much as the previous seasons, man. Like it just doesn't hit the same. I don't know. Yeah, even with the split split, you're still very vulnerable in these team fights. And picking the glue up here <laughs> means that there's gonna be a whole a lot of different picks banned out for a geek fam. A lot of their comfort that they haven't even been able to utilize. And remember, remember the keys to victory for Geek Fam. Get a comfort pick on Beloy. None of the glue has been picked with the Faramis and Fanny. And the ban towards Franco. It seems like Beloy might not be able to get any of his picks. Kufra might be another ban coming through next. And then they're just gonna nail Beloy down. I don't think Kufra is the right choice he here for Beloy as well because it's a croc. It's a, uh, it's a Katita, it's not gonna work well with the Tyrant's Revenge and Rage. You can be easily countered, easily CC immune by all the skills coming in from both, uh, both of these heroes. But what, what, what are the options left for the okay. area and here? Or maybe they just wanna buff up Nile with some healing, maybe with Angela, which I don't really like to because you're up against a Grog and a Katita, which can punish you quite easily, so... Florin, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I think Florin is a good option here for Beloy. Considering that, yeah, you have two roamers, you to have two healers rather, one with Faramis, one with Florian that is global healing. So it doesn't matter if Fanny is upstairs, downstairs, mid jungle, you will be able to just heal him up. And let's see here, will Evos Legends pick that up, right? I mean, going up against a Healer. It's gonna be very Your tricky, but no, they will bad. opt for another Harith man here from the side of White Tigers. Oh. Gold lane option available. Gold lane option. Carry. It, like, it's the only one is carry. Carry right? Beatrix, ah. technically. I mean the Beatrix can be a pickup here for the side of Geek Fam as well. The carry is a bit safer. No, carry isn't a bit safer. I mean technically if you go for the purify, it is safer. But that early game against a Kadita and a Claude, yeah. plus the Grok as well in these team fights, it's gonna be really hard to pull off. I mean, very. Unless yeah, okay. They go for the Diggy Ooh. as a Roamer. Last pick. 
Ooh, Diggy, that is a possibility. I mean, it's very rare thing to see Beatrix with a purifier, right? I mean, I don't no, think we have possible. ever seen it. No. Wait, so, oh, just, what? Just what? Wait. Beloy Cho? Beloy Cho going up against Kadida and Grok. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I think this is just specifically trying to counter brands, I guess, but. If they want to counter Brand, I think Minotaur would work better, especially with Katita too. So I think he wants to go more of a pick-off composition, but Evos, I think they're gonna opt to go for a Mortis, I guess, because there's just way too much CC, too much slow coming in. The Mortal Coil is gonna work well against the Fanny too, the cable is gonna be stopped. Maybe... Uh, Another good choice would be the Brethren jungle, in the jungle. But they yeah, do go, go for the Mortis, L. And Ruby. And the Ruby already oh. providing good peel for the back as well. And it's going to be the 1-1. One, one. Not for Chidera, it's for Marky. Here in this game, I'm a big fan of 1-1 one, one for Marky, especially up against the Kadita and the Grok, but not so much the Cho for Beloy. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm not really convinced with the Fanny just yet. Uh, just a reminder that Fanny is almost banned in every game in MPL. Actually, highest ban rate MBL ID so far in Season 12. This time around, Nile gets the chance to showcase his skills on these highly mechanical heroes and prove he's one of the junglers that's going to be feared in the next few seasons. We'll Let's see. see if it can work out here for Evo's Legends. It seems like they have the more concise, the more precise draft to deal Oh, to do, execute the winning condition that they have. Meanwhile, for Geek Fam, it kind of is all around the place. They want to pick off, but they want to team fight, but they want to yeah. have lane priority while also denying picks away from Evos. Just all over the place. Probably that's the plan there, just controlled chaos, as you uh, a lot of times say it, Mirko. Maybe, you know, now it's just going to do work on its own. So, interesting choice here, Festival Blood for Nile, even though Fanny is more of a... Um, Burst and run hero. He's going for more sustain, but we're gonna see if that's gonna work out in this game for Evos versus Geek Fam. So far, Quantum Charge for Glue? Okay, okay. Ooh. Excuse me? We'll see how this works out, man. Again, Quantum Charge, they're not just experimenting in the drafts, they're experimenting here as well talents. with the emblems and the talents. Experiments with Lethal Ignition. It's weakness finder for Wan Wan. Nothing too crazy, but Nile here. Festival of Blood, no Master Assassin with the Rupture as well. Oh. No Season Hunter is trying to play the long game on Marky. this Fanny. Marky, pull yourself together. So he's going for more Inspire. I like that. That is very specific, but 1-1. One, one. Every time he's going for the crossbow tank, the Inspire is very, very important because that's one of the ways to burst down all the beefy frontliners, wow. especially Grok with a, a lot of physical defense you're gonna be able to be uh, you're gonna be able to burst down the frontliners first if you want to burst down the backliners but backliners here is gonna be maybe handled by Nile or Beloisky let's see though if this synergy quote unquote synergy or unsynergy from Geek Fam is gonna work I, I gotta say your team is very creative take us to the line of dawn game number two for EVOS versus Geek Fam let's here see. brands is on the Purify, so you can already see a big difference here. I don't think he's going to be able to push the tempo as much as he did in game number one. He's going to be quite passive, especially considering he's up against Marky with that pull yourself together on that Inspire. That little calculation might actually be the end of Brands in this lane if he's not careful, if he doesn't calculate fast enough. I mean, in a sense, it does make sense, right? With uh, Purify, why? Why? What is your goal? It's just to it deflects the Wave Dragon and potentially the Jet Kundo, so now Beloisky can't really target the gold lane. Especially with that Blazing Threat uh, that's going to be executed, especially in the late game, because it's going to be very vital for you to be able to deal damage towards the back line with that Blazing Threat, because that's the only time where Claude's going to be really, really effective. But it looks like Nile wants, wants a blood here. Yeah, it seems like now we'll go up upstairs. Oh. Oh, misses the cable there. Brands with the juke as well. No first blood just yet on the board. But oh, now, wow. my god, a dream's trying to cover. Marky Beloisky will jump in. Oh, good a BMI there. Beloisky no now way. taking a lot of damage. Oh, take a look at the damage. Take a look at the peel coming from Beloisky. Still surviving, though. Again, no first bloods on the board just yet.
Ooh. I think it's kind of evident, right? Niall's still having the jitters. Because so far in MPL ID Season 12, there's been a lot of mistakes that this guy made, especially in the Assassin part. He thought he can burst on some heroes, but a lot of misplay, a lot of miscalculation, and a lot of underestimation towards the opponent. As Ryan's gonna freeze the lane towards his advantage. Yeah, when you miss your cables, you lose a lot of your energy. And that's what we saw from Niall. The reason he wasn't able to find that cutthroat towards the end was because he just did not have enough energy to pull it off. And now it just gives Evo's legends much more of space to go and control the neutral objective. But it doesn't change the fact that they're still on it. Okay, Kundo Flicker on towards one, on towards Fluffy, not the real right target. Our altar popped. Bringing a Geek Family to so Lona Luke pops the split split, mounting Fluffy. Take a look at the turtle now, taken control by Nile, but now Luke quite isolated. Will not be committed just yet though. In the front side, take a look at that. A boy though gets the turtle, but Loiski now. No, will be taken down. Both Roamers taken out. It's a boy of the teams now. Look for a disengage. It's a one for one. One for two rather. Geek Fam wins it. Very, very messy coming in from GeekFam, especially the engage coming in from Beloy. That was a weird pathing for a Chao user. Usually just, you just want to go for a flicker when you're uh, out of your vision from your opponent. And it just goes all the way to the back, to the red buff even, and gets Fluffy out of all people there. Mm -hmm. It was a big pickoff here from Geek Fam. The way that they were able to just place or pace themselves in that team fight using the call Alter to again slow it down oh. to a tempo that Geek Fam just oh. strives in. That's something that they need to keep on noting down. But up top, Beloy's walking up real deep into the enemy territory. Good steal from Niall as well. So even though there was a big fail early on, he's able to recuperate and the jitters are slowly but surely going away. Have you ever seen. Poloisky pulling off like a lot of quick calls, a lot of TPs just to trigger the opponent. I think, oh, this oh. is the first time Marky. Oh, oh what? Oh, what? Yes. Oh. Came <laughs> back with the BMI onto us, the BMI. And that's what? Marky saying, thank you very much. I'm going to pick up the kill. That, that is just giving a free kill towards the opponent. Um, I guess like he's not fully pop on his, on his form, but in the bot lane, it's going to be another kill for EVOS Legends, but. I'm still very much baffled on what happened with France there. Oh, it's a good oh, game. Oh, throat. Nile finding the kill. Oh, Loi, who know? Finding France there, but not enough follow up damage. The Thermos wasn't able to kill him up just yet. And now it's a re engage. Fluffy and Taz. Take a look at Dreams as well. Boloyski taken now by Taz as a boy now. Forced to use a Purify. Will he be able to escape this time? Yes. Nile dealing out damage. Not enough, though, as it was. In that previous fight, a one for one. <sighs> I mean, I'm still trying to find words to describe what happened. But right now, I think Evos has definitely the advantage towards the total area. And five men already, Nile is going to work uh, for a miracle here. Let's see, let's see. Turtle will be taken comfortably, but take a look at the King TC, Luke will be taken oh. now. Take a look at Ruby finding two. Crossbow Tang, not enough damage just yet. Oh, Waloiski taken out by Taz. Now finds a kill, but Franz will take it down Fanny. As at the end of the day, it was Evo still standing five as four men taken out from the side of Geek Fam. <laughs> Good recovery there from Evo's Legends. They still have the upper hand when it comes down to neutral objectives. And I think Geek Fam just completely failed to understand what their composition was built for. They have a gold lead. Well, now they had a gold lead into that turtle. But guess what? They still do not have more pressure when it comes down to these neutral objective battles. Their composition is built around these pickoffs around the map. If they're able to isolate members from Evo's Legends and take them down like that. The fact that they still took... Oh! A 5v5 in the neutral objective the tar uh, in the neutral objective place with a river pit. It's it just Geek Fan playing into Evo's Legends winning condition. Oh man, I gotta say, man, so far this Fanny has been very, very underwhelming, especially in that last last instance. You can see, I believe it was Fluffy using the flicker very, very low, but he instead going for a cutthroat towards one of the members of Evo's that has a lot of HP in the front line, which is I, I, <sighs> This is not an MPL level Fanny, I would say. But Ooh. it could be the cheaters. Okay. Bold statement there. But well, we're seeing the audience prediction here rise up for Geek Fam, actually. 38% now, presented to you by the Samsung Galaxy S23 Series 5G. And I think you're kind of right, right? I mean, looking at the way Niall's been playing, he hasn't been making his own decisions. It really feels like 
He's just an arm, and Beloy is the head. Beloy is the brain. Oh, Whenever Beloy go. goes out, oh, never mind. There you go. He takes Brands down. Trying to curse you. Trying to prove you wrong, Sheffin. Okay, there you go. The isolation that you said, Mirko. They need to go for this more often than a proper 5v5 oh. team fight. Beloyski. This is uh, the flicker. But take a look at the 5v4. Well, 4v4 oh. technically. Beloyski gets taken out first. As oh my god, Luke survives that one with the flicker. Luke mounting nobody just yet here as Nile finds the back line. Ooh, good slide there. Fluffy surviving that one, but crossbow tank again will not be enough damage just yet to take anyone down. Wow. Okay, so that's a uh, little bit of W for Kickman. Boloski just looks like the the plan for increasing his hero pool has not come to fruition as just yet. Like, and I still think you should go for a lot more child base because. The only time you get more practices, the a real practices in an actual game. Just like you, you have to be back to your old mechanics. I think so too. Giving him a bit more time to learn the Chow, but against Evo's Legends, I don't think it's the right time to be picking up a hero as tough as this. Because Evo's Legends, they took the complete opposite route. If Chow is a very high mechanical hero, they've gone for the Martyrs, they've gone for the Grok. Just the click heroes, the go in. Heroes, right? And it's very easy to execute for Evo's Legends. That gives them much more space for the macro game. They can think about what they're doing a lot more. They can think about how they approach every single team fight a lot better. And that's what has been giving Evo's Legends the edge. These neutral objective battles, these team fights where they're forcing Geek Fam to clump up, when they're forcing Geek Fam to take a 4v4 or even a 5v5, and ultimately winning it in these team fights to take back the gold lead. Let's see here, Dreams. Gold. No clear damage just yet though. There you go. The cutthroat does come through. Take a look at the backside. Only just trading skills and trading resources, it seems like. I don't think we've talked about the Ruby pick enough, man. Like so far, this has been like one of the unsung heroes for Evos, especially in the late game. I expect, right? An engage coming in from Poloski and gets cancelled right away from one of the members from Evos, either Fluffy or Dreams with the second skill, or maybe with the uh, I'm a fan it or the wild charge. It's gonna be very, very handy to be able to bail Hijume or maybe Brands out of death. I think looking at Evos Legends, the way that they're pacing themselves now is also just really through their win conditions. I think they have finally understood it again. They're starting to send Dreams down with Brands and stopping this isolation from Geek Fam, stopping the pickoff game from Geek Fam. They're no longer letting these vulnerable targets on their team in the side lanes alone. And you can see that it's working. Evo Sledges with the slow paced gameplay and with the deny of the pickoff strat from Geek Fam are able to completely take control of the game. They don't need to invade right now. All they need to do is to get their carries to a spot where they can carry, and then the invades will happen. 0 4 1 for Poloiski, and also 0 2 3 4. Luke. Luke, Luke has not been playing quite well in this match, but I gotta say, I think he's done all he can as a Gluk because I gotta say, man, the upsides or the ceiling of a Glue in this patch is just not much. The movement speed boost is not there, and you can't really catch up with that slam slam pass pass combo, especially with a lot of. High mobility heroes and CC immune like Mortis. Yeah, I mean, now looking at the map though, it's the control of the Fanny, right? He is able to push the minions out, but let's see. Who will pull the trigger first? I don't think there's gonna be a, a trigger to pull right now for both teams. Geek Fam are waiting for an isolated pickoff, and that is, there it is! Yeah, finding one. We have Dragon Dreams very low, but still surviving that one. Tazdo now isolated in front side. Crossbow, but Tang oh. will not be able to take him down just yet. Farky finds the down. It's a 2 no for one 2 oh. for 2 now. As a Dreams, Taz, Voloiski, and Marky will be taken out of the board. So no jungler for both teams. Nile is still up. Oh, Nile is still, still up, up. but... I don't think a Fanny, a Glue, exactly. is very, very capable of doing a lore, a lore, especially when you're up against a lot of burst damage coming in from Fluffy and Hijimin with Lethal Ignition, also Petrify. What's the plan here for Geek Fam, or this might be the plan. Oh my goodness, Whoa. what a play! 
Okay, he's proving me wrong right now. Oh, he can hear me for sure. Easy for Nile, he says, as he proves you wrong, Chef, and absolutely styling and get a, getting a solo kill. The mechanical prowess was definitely displayed there, dodging away from the Petrify and coming back to slay Hijume, utilizing the isolation and utilizing that killing spree well to get out as well. Now with the Hunter Strike, he's all the way up top. He is giving Geek Fam the other members a tough job though, because now they're gonna have to cycle through, forcing this Lord oh, Dance as he clears out that top side to get that turret down. For the reset is not there uh, from the barrier from the Grog, but I don't think Geek Fam wants to take this. They just want to bait or maybe just buy time for Nile. There's a conceal play. See? See. Oh! Uh, oh! oh! Crossbow! Dang! Does enough damage now. A oh boy! We'll find the kill. Two men are taken out by Evos as Geek Fam. Minute 12, they're looking to claim more control with two men taken out. And surely, Lords for Geek Fam. Surely, right? Surely, but Toss is still there with the Retribution. Also, the Mortal Coil, a lot of CC immune that can get him the Lord. And Toss is very, very capable on his Retro as well. It comes down to the power spike, I believe, for Geek Fam, right? Because they were waiting for a point where they can finally turn it around and come back into the game. And it comes through marking. The main reason they've been they've been completely outclassed, I would say, in these neutral objective battles, in these team fights, is the fact that their gold laner, their marksman, just was, wasn't able to really melt anyone down. Now with the Melvic Roar bot, he has a lot more to say. He can melt down even a tankiest member from EVO's Legends. We saw that Taz in the front just got completely melted by a crossbow tank. Though it didn't kill him, it got him low enough for the Fanny to deal the finishing blow. It looks like mid tar is gonna be very, very uh, low here for Kiko. Oh my goodness. Let's keep going in. Oh, another one. Yeah, cancel. Petrify comes through. Cold Alter now forced to be popped. Take a look at the front side. Brand! Oh, gets taken out by Gluk. And now it's a collapse. Gluk now mounting one. Uh, Dreams though has Immortal. Oh, that might be a mistake. Oh, oh my Luke. god. Will lose his Immortal. No way. And now finds the kill on towards Taz. This is not good as he was. They're still defending from the Lord. Oh man, the immortality fight is just so clutch. This is an EXP laner we're talking about. This is not a jungler, not a gold laner, but we're gonna see Geek Fam trying to end the game. We might see a game three. Ladies and gentlemen, as now Dreams trying desperately in the front side. Oh, oh my god, Fluffy finds a double. Let's see, is that enough? A boy finds a killing spree as well. Lord is taken out. But again, not enough wow. firepower for Geek Fam to end the game. Tier base turret number one. Top side taken now, but again, no base correct just yet. Remember, man, remember Evos versus RRQ. Evos defended the base like a madman, and they're doing it again, even though it's not really that, you know, it's not that impactful in the playoffs, but don't forget also, use your head and shoulders to get your damage off away. Check it out, go ahead. As right now, it does seem like Geek Fam are utilizing the head and shoulders got taught Kachao because what Kachao means is basically chaotic. Geek Fam are living through the chaos, are thriving, are thriving through the chaos. Unfortunately for them though, the reason they weren't able to end was because also it was a bit too chaotic. Fluffy, being an Aurifier before, he understands how to go up against this as well. He understands completely when to go in and he was able to capitalize, getting a double kill to save the game. But let's take a look back at the items here for Wan Wan. Marky is going to be the prime member that Evo's Legends are looking to take off before the team fight even starts. Now that he's already building, wow, with another... I'm curious to see what he actually goes for here. Is he going for a Haas Claws into the end? I'm not too sure if that's what he's going for here, but with the, with the nature built up and the Wind Talker, it's already enough survivability and mobility to add on to the fact that he already can shred through oh. the frontliners for the side of Evo's oh, Legends. He so. changes it up. That's yeah, why yeah. It, it looked really weird. He goes for the Magic Blade instead, and this is more like it. He's going to respect the damage coming in, the only Magic damage coming in from the Kadita. It looks like the agenda of Beloy Centric is gone. Beloy being the weakest sling, Objectively in this match, 0 6, 6 so far has not been having any impact, but looks like maybe one Ooh. here. Oh, montage there. We have Dragon. Take a look at the damage now. Dreams will not be able to soak that much damage. Marky pausing with a nature. But take a look at the wall charge from the side of Fluffy. Now, now, now jumps in towards Hijume. Almost takes him down as Hijume tries to do. Take a look at the cover. Now gets taken out. A 
Athena Shields blocked by most of the players as a 2v1 now. Okay, Toss is a bit offside there, trying to get another crossbow of tank, but still in cooldown. But that was unfortunate from Niall, but also a really good trap by Fluffy with a barrier. But right now, no jungler for Geek Fam. They can't really utilize this, but Toss might oh. be going down here. Oh my god, a Taz now committed. Loses his immortal. Now take a look at the wild charge. On towards the Marty. Oh. Gets taken out by the true damage of the Martis. And now it's all Geek Fam retreating. Oh, Luke, no, Luke finding one. A good mount there. Good payback. Oh. And now they're overstaying. Luke gets taken out. Geek Fam still somehow, somehow surviving. It's a stalemate. It's a complete stalemate in the 17th minute of game number two. Geek Fam versus Evo's Legends with Taz down and Niall up. But with Marky down, there's no one there who can actually try to threat the Lord Tank. Geek Fam can't do it. They don't have a DPS dealer. Evos have the DPS, but they don't have the Executor. So for both teams, they're now just going to go back and reset and set up again for another big team fight that might end up like this consistently. Just two for twos, ultimately ending in a complete stalemate. So also we can see here the damage dealt by a boy. 100k so far this game, almost doubling down Marky with the second place. S A D P S makes sense though. It's a lot of poke coming in from Faramis, but he's been having quite the perfect game. I'd say. I believe he hasn't died yet as a Faramis. Also with the purify too, a lot of clutch plays, a lot of clutch covers from a boy towards a lot of members of Kick Fam. But might be Lord Dance after this. But Niles is just gonna try to split and try to find a way to make this team fight towards the advantage of Geek Fam with 4v5. That's incredible value already. Oh, Beloy goes in. Oh, boom, bang, better being on towards Dreams now. Still has Immortal though. Will lose. Oh, oh my god, a huge Petrify. But Dreams will not be able to survive that one. Now finds the kill. Halt Alter popped from the side of Geek Fam. 5v4, will they oh. come in again? And Brands, a quarter of HP. Good cutthroat. Lord taken out by the side of Geek Fam. Evos, they need to defend this. Showing more than signs of life from Geek Fam. 70 to 15 so far from that kill department. Only 4k gold lead. And I think if you want to win the game, you have to win the game right now because this fan is going to fall off quite a lot in this late game. 20 seconds for Dreams to respawn. The power spike for Geek Fam is here already. Niall as well. He had to juggle some items, but now he's back to full items and they're looking for the end with this Evolved Lord. Three mini waves crashing. Oh, Belorski overextended. Lose his immortal. He too make a taken out though. Take a look at the collapse. Geek Fam, we might see a game three now. Let's see. It's a four a V3. Toss taken out. The base is cracked open. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game three. We have a game three on our hands, courtesy of Niall proving me wrong on his Fanny multiple times over and over again. Not a really good showing from Beloy though, but as long as you get the W, as long as you get the series going, as long as you equalize and having more chance, it's a...